Other council comments and discussion on this item? Councilmember uh, Westman? Uh, first off, I'd like to uh, thank all who are attending the council meeting tonight, and especially those who have expressed a, a point of view. Uh, your comments were appropriate, sincere, and challenging. We pay our employees well, don't we? As you know, wages and salaries are determined by contractual agreements, usually by employee labor unions. On the most part, our contractual service providers are determined by open public request for proposal process. This is one of the first years our city pay schedule has been readily available for public review and citizen reaction is welcomed, at least by me. So where are we now? We have a budget before us which, one, satisfies the current labor contracts, but yet troubles many citizens. Two, one which provides basic community services, even though some may disagree with the need for some funded full-time and part-time positions. We have a budget that eliminates city-provided ambulance service and a five-member fire response team 24-7. Four, we have one that doesn't fund a director of community development nor one city planner position. And finally, a budget that may not be relevant to the current economic downturn or recession we are all experiencing. I'm not happy with this budget, and this is shared by many in the community. So, what are we going to do about it? This is where the rubber hits the road, they say. Here are some suggestions. Some of them I had previously discussed with council, but did not get majority approval or support. Number one, budget building process must be a collaborative process of staff, council, and community members beginning early in the first quarter of the calendar year. Second, that the council and community is briefed or are briefed through quarterly reviews on the status of the entire budget. We must all prepare ourselves to react to changes in our economic environment, changes in service, and personnel expectations. Three, the city government, staff, and council continue to improve and provide better methods of communication with our citizens to ensure open, transparent, and timely responses and involvement on their suggestions, comments, and or ideas. Four, immediately request a renegotiation of all union contracts, personnel policies, and contractual agreements so that they are adjusted to reflect the current economic downturn. And finally, five, a citizen establish advisory committees to identify, analyze, and report without bias or prejudice alternative service delivery models for all our service areas. Now, I'm sure that many of these suggestions and other suggestions are available and are more detailed than others. All of us are trying to do what is right for our diversity within our population here in DuPont. We must use all of our resources with maximum efficiency and productivity. 
Measurable, observable results are what matters, not the status quo. This budget and those that follow are certainly going to be challenging. Thank you for your patience in listening.